Why select markers? Why not test more broadly? I think early in test development, people did test um, a domain really broadly to try to sample um, everything that was represented in a domain. I think over time we've realized that in language impairment and in speech impairment, there are certain things that are particularly difficult for children um, with language or speech impairments. And so what you want to do is you want to build a test that um, identifies those markers. You want to build a test that loads on those markers so that it's really clear which kids have language impairment and which kids don't have language impairment. If you test broadly, those tests help us to look at broader patterns of language performance, but they usually don't do a very good job of accurately classifying children with and without impairments. Why is sensitivity and specificity important in test selection? You want to be really confident of your measure. So you don't want to measure where um, you're only 60% sure that the child has an impairment. You want to be, well, if, if possible, you want to be 100% sure. Now, no test is perfect, um, but you want to have a test that is really sensitive to the disorder. So standards are at least 80% sensitive um, or 90% sensitive, those are 90% would be considered very good or excellent sensitivity. And at the same time, you want to be able to say, well, this child scored really well on this test. They definitely don't have an impairment. And so that's um, specificity. So you want to have 80, 90% or better specificity. Um, and that tells you the confidence that you have in believing um, the score that you get and making a diagnostic decision on the basis of that score.